Right, hello grade 11s, how are you doing? Right, I'm going to start discussing this handout I sent to you a couple of weeks ago. Right, so I need you to follow this with me. So I'm going to do this uh, whole uh, booklet in stages of short videos. Right, term 2, remember this is paper 2 work, don't forget. Trigonometry, trigonal means triangle and metre means measure. So we, that means we measure the sides and angles of triangles. So in trigonometry, we study the relationship between the sides and the angles of a triangle. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics with many applications and it is used in engineering, navigation, surveying, architecture, astronomy, uh, etc. There are so many applications. Now very important people, there are three approaches in trigonometry. So either you use a calculator or you use your identities or you use sketches, diagrams and graphs. Of course we can do all three as we go along. In grades 10, most probably heard of this identity or maybe you didn't. This is the very first important identity. It's called a square identity or some people call it a Pythagorean identity. It is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. And where does it come from? Well, it comes from the theorem of Pythagoras. Here is the quick proof. I have my right angular triangle here, called it A, B, and C. And if you look at Pythagoras, you will know that A squared plus B squared is C squared, isn't it, guys? A squared plus B. And what we do here is we divide each one by C squared. Divide each one by C squared because I want a 1 on the right hand side. Right. And A over C, right? A is, this is theta, of course, guys, that is theta. Then A over C is the sine, you remember. B over C, B over C is the cosine. And there you are. Very simple where that identity is coming from. Then you can take that same identity and you can start changing the subject of the formula. For instance, here, if I make sine squared theta the subject, I must take cos squared over. And even if I get rid of the square, I just find the square root. If I want to make cos squared the subject, then I must take sine squared over. Is it clear, guys? So these are the other two identities. So there you've got there basically the main identity. One, two, and three. Those are the first three very important identities I want you to take note of. And of course, right, welcome back. Starting of the second lesson, right, the second very important identity is this one. Tan is sine over cos, very important one. Of course, cosine theta cannot be zero. We know why. We are not allowed to divide by zero. I'm sure you still remember that, guys. So let's look at our circle here. I have to call, we normally call this a unit circle or a radius circle. This is still theta, right? Now, if, that is, if A is X and Y, then this will be X and that will be Y. Right. So, if you if are trying to prove this identity, I'm going to start with the right hand side. So, if I start with the right hand side, sine over cos, then sine, you remember, is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's Y over R. And cosine, remember, is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over r. And if I take this fraction up, it becomes r over x, multiply, multiply the r's will cancel, and you get y over x. And guys, y over x is the 10. Can you see? So it's quite an easy proof. Right. Then the next one, oh, let's do some application now. Simplify to one simple trick ratio of function. So this is given. Now you will notice that this looks very familiar. Yes, you're right. It comes from x minus y, x plus y. Yes, in algebra, sum and difference. You still remember how to do it, guys? 
You square the first term, square the second term with a minus in the middle. I'm sure you still remember that. So do the same here. Square the first term, square the second term with a minus in the middle. And of course, from the previous lesson, 1 minus sine squared is cos squared. Next one, tan squared minus tan squared times sine squared. So here I got two terms, and tan squared is the common factor. Can you see guys? Tan squared is the common factor, so what is left? 1 minus sine squared. And from the previous lesson, 1 minus sine squared is cos squared. And of course we just learned now that tan is sine over cos, isn't it? Simplify, and the answer is sine of tan. Then now quickly the last one, proof that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Well, of course, cos squared theta cannot be zero. Let's start with the left hand side first. One minus cos squared, you remember from the previous lesson, is sine squared over cos squared. And sine over cos is 10. Right, hello grade 11s. Right, this is the third video in our series on trigonometry. And here again, we need to prove that tan theta plus cos theta over 1 plus sine theta is equal to 1 over the cos of theta. So you must prove the left hand side equals to the right hand side. So we're going to start with the left hand side first. We remember the identity tan is sine over cos. So this one stays like that. Next step, because we have two terms, we're going to use the LCM. So the LCM for cos theta and 1 plus sine theta is cos theta 1 plus sine theta. If I divide cos theta into the LCM, 1 plus sine theta is left, right? 1 plus sine theta times sine theta, right? And if you remove the brackets, you will get that, okay? Then secondly, if I divide 1 plus sine theta into here, cos theta is left. Cos theta times cos theta is cos squared theta. Remember here, I've already removed the brackets. Don't forget. Then the next step, of course, we are going to do the following. Remember, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, those two together, can be replaced with a 1, if you remember from the previous identity. So that is a 1, and it is sine theta. Then, of course, sine theta and so those two can cancel doesn't matter whether you've got one in front or not and then the answer is then one over cos of theta right so there you are left hand side equals to the right hand side okay then we have the activities right there's a first one for the activity again we need to prove the left hand side equals to the right hand side Right, so let's see. So here I'm going to start with the left hand side first. So I'm going to look at those two. Now remember people, there's what we call a golden rule. By that I mean always try to write in terms of sine and cos. There's already cos, but there's 10, so I'm going to replace 10. So 1 over cos squared theta. And 10, you remember is sine squared theta over cos squared theta, right? That's our identity. Two uh, terms I must add so you know the story, LCM. Cos squared goes there once, 1 times 1 is 1. Cos squared goes there is 1, 1 times sine squared theta is sine squared theta. And remember from our, our identity that 1 minus sine squared is the same as cos squared theta over cos squared theta, sorry, right, and therefore 1. So the left hand side is equal to 1, right. Let's go to the right hand side now. The right hand side, you will notice, they are already all in terms of sine and cos. So what I'm going to do here, so right there, right hand side, is that this one will remain like that, 1 over cos squared theta. Here, I'm going to multiply in with the 2. So it will become sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Cool. 
then the LCM is again cos squared theta. One goes there once, one times one is one. The same length this goes into that once, one times sine squared is sine squared theta. And again, that we recognize as cos squared theta over cos squared theta, which is also 1. So there you are. Therefore, my left hand side is equal to my right hand side. Cool. I hope you follow that. Then the last one, where is it now? Is this one here. Now, then you still remember cosec from grade 10. Cosec, people, is the same as 1 over sine. So, 2 cosec theta can be written as 2 over sine theta. Because they are be called inverses or reciprocals. So, just remember that. Okay. So, let's do it. Right. If I start with the left hand side first. Right. Then... The all of them are in terms of sine and cos, so there's no problem. So I'm just going to add them. So the LCM for 1 plus cos theta and sine theta is sine theta 1 plus cos theta, right? That's my LCM. So this one, divide into the LCM sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta. Sine theta will cancel. I have 1 plus cos times 1 plus cos. So it is 1 plus cos theta squared. You agree with me? Right. Next step. Let's remove the brackets. So sine squared theta plus. This is a perfect square you know, from grade 10. So 1 times 1 is 1 plus the middle term is 2 times 1 times cos theta. And of course, cos theta times cos theta is cos squared theta over the LCM, which is sine theta bracket 1 plus cos theta. Are we okay with that, guys? Then I can group those two together. And if I put them together, they can be replaced with a 1. Do you, do you agree with me? So it can be replaced with a 1. Then we still have this one. And then I still have 2 cos theta. Is it clear, guys? Remember, those two together can be replaced with a 1. Then over the LCM, sine theta, 1 plus cos theta. Right. Then, of course, 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 cos theta over the LCM, sine theta, 1 plus cos theta. Right. The next, take out 2 as a common factor. 1 plus cos theta. Right. Over the LCM, sine theta, 1 plus cos theta. Then those two will cancel. Right. And be left with 2 over sine theta. So that is our left hand side. Remember I told you earlier on, the right hand side can be replaced with a reciprocal 1 over cos. So my right hand side, this one here, can be replaced by 2 over sine theta of reciprocal. So there you are, left hand side equals to the right hand side.